solving inequalities. So we can solve inequalities just like we would normal equations, but there's a couple of differences we're going to look at. Let's start off with a nice easy one. x plus 1 is less than 5. So we can almost pretend that the less than sign is an equal sign, and we just solve it like we would a normal equation. So we're trying to get x by itself, so we're just going to minus 1 from both sides, which that goes away. So we get x is less than 5 minus 1 is 4. So our final answer is that x is less than 4. And what that means is in that, that equality will hold true as long as x is a number less than 4. So if it equals 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 5 is not less than 5 because it's equal to. So the number has to be less than 4, and it can be any number less than 4 to make this inequality hold true. So for example, 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 is less than 5. And if you try this with any number less than 4, it'll hold true. Let's look at 5 minus 2x is greater than 3. Again, we're going to solve it like we would a normal equation. So we're going to minus 5 from both sides to try and get x by itself. So we're left with minus 2x is greater than, well, 3 minus 5 is minus 2. Now we need to divide both sides by minus 2. And one of the key concepts here is whenever we divide or multiply both sides by a negative, both sides by a minus, we need to flip the inequality. So here, we're dividing by a negative here, we're dividing by minus 2. So our greater than sign becomes a less than sign, and then we just do everything like normal. Minus 2 divided by minus 2 gives us positive 1. So we get x is less than 1. And you could try our values here to see if you're correct. So something that's less than 1 is 0. So 2, two times 0 is 0, 5 minus 0 is 5, and 5 is greater than 3. So it does hold true. Let's do, let's do a couple more. Let's look at x over 2 minus 4 is greater than or equal to minus 10. Alright, so it's just solved like a normal equation. So we're trying to get x by itself, so it's plus 4 to both sides. That's going to go, it's going to be 0, so we're left with x over 2 on that side. is greater than or equal to minus 10 plus 4 is minus 6. It's times both sides by minus, so by 2, sorry. They cancel out with that denominator. So x is going to be greater than or equal to minus 12. What about this one? 2x plus 7 is less than or equal to 6x plus 3. So again, we just want to solve like we do a normal equation. So let's, we've got pronumerals on both sides, so let's bring them together, like taking the smaller one over to the bigger one. So that's minus 2x to both sides, so that goes away. We're just left with 7 is less than or equal to 6x minus 2x is 4x plus 3. That's minus 3 from both sides now. So that's going to be 0. 7 minus 3 is 4. So 4 is less than or equal to 4x. Now we can divide both sides by 4 to get x by itself. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 is less than or equal to x. Usually we like writing x on the left. And if we want to switch sides in an inequality, we can switch the sides around. So I can write x over here and 1 over here, but we have to flip the sign. Because when you read it backwards, or well, when we read it forwards, it's 1 is less than or equal to x. And reading it backwards is x is greater than or equal to 1. They're writing x here, we need to flip the sign. Okay.